Hello everyone, today I'm going to rescue a cactus plant that my cousin gave me. Here we are. It has grown from little tiny pieces like this. And you can see there's little tiny uh, sprout coming out and it's going to be uh, grown into one of these. And uh, she started with these, I think, and then um, here it is, and then it multiply and uh, it's getting too big for the pot and it's actually getting too big for her condo. So I'm here to rescue it and put it into a bigger pot. It has a hole at the bottom so um, it helps to drain away excess water. So first I'm gonna put in some all-purpose soil just gonna load it up you know um, putting plants in uh, in a uh, a pot or a planter is like changing clothes for us it makes a um, different uh, from a plastic pot like this into a ceramic pot like this it's like a, a dress up so if you want your plant to look better change the pot and you will feel like you have a brand new plant to add some more these are just all-purpose uh, soil that I got from the store nothing fancy you can buy potting soil or soil specifically made to plant different varieties so there are soils that are made to plant um, cactus because cactus need more of a um, desert like um, soil so sand and sand it would have some sand in it but I'm just going to mix some uh, little pebbles into the soil to give it a um, um, what is it called um, well-drained soil so that water go through the um, go through the root go through the soil easily and it doesn't clog uh, the roots because cactus they don't like a lot of water they, they love sun though Just had some more and I poured it in. Just creating a base like this, and then I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna take it out gently, just wiggle, 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 and here we go. Pause the rest, and this one it got hole in it too, so it drains away any excess water need to add a little bit more soil so it stays on top of the uh, pot instead of um, sunken below know that gardening or planting is therapeutic it's to me at least I think that's perfect there sitting nicely <coughs> and I'm going to add soil around it it has these um, prickly fur 
around it and it's kind of sticking to my hands but it's not um, what is it called but it does it's it's um it's not hard enough to penetrate your skin but it still um, stick to your skin and it kind of give you a little bit of ir irritation so um, if you ever touch one of these better wear gloves but for me I'm a jungle lady so I like to feel things with my own skin and I'm gonna add more soil around it so that it will hold the plant in place and also <clears throat> give it new soil new nutrient for the plant and they will grow some more and grow nicer feels good to be outside on a sunny day like this I actually like it when it rains too because I know that the plants and everything that's growing outside after a few days of sun it, uh, it it's really happy to receive some rain so I feel that too and so when it's raining, I'm really happy to see that. But on Sunday day, you can't beat anything. Any other weather, Sunday day is the best day. Give you warmth. And flowers need sun to bloom, right? So here we are. Make sure the soil is below the rim so that when you water, it doesn't overflow, especially when you have the pot indoor. Now I might start something, I might start with this pot with these broken ones that uh, fell fell down I'm gonna plant it in this pot and start the whole thing all over again but here we are I think it's all done and it you can see that this a big cactus needed this bigger pot and nicer pot see a big difference right I'm going to gather some more pebbles and put on top to keep the soil moist and also uh, give it a nicer look. And here we go. That's all for now. I'm going to start the other part and I will share with you another day. Enjoy your day guys.